नमस्कार वेलकम टू स्पेशल एडिशन ऑफ दिस वीक विद पद्मी डेस्टिन डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक डॉक्टर सर वेलकम नमस्ते नमस्ते नमस्कार एवरीवन सो दिस इज अ फेस्टिव सीजन दैट वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग आफ्टर जन्माष्टमी वी आर गेटिंग रेडी फॉर गणेश चतुर्थी बट पैरल टू दिस द बिग फेस्टिवल दैट इंडिया ऑब्जर्व रिसेंटली एज फार एज सक्सेसफुल a uh, diplomatic achievement is g20 so let us reflect on g20 H- how do you see delhi declaration declaration uh, making india's position on the global scene i think uh, g20 uh, uh, whole gathering was very successful india hosted very very elegantly and uh, showed uh, world that india is not any more poor country anymore and up india is progressing well and uh, the all the glitters and all the um, uh, kind of variety of the culture uh, activities shows uh, to the uh, all the leaders that india has arrived on the world stage and in india and the whole uh, i mean the fact that uh, at the end of the g20 they all agree to come up with the, some kind of uh, declaration about uh, russia and ukraine and uh, uh, and the uh, uh, world economy and world uh, uh, situation or world uh, 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 different uh, uh, problem resolution i think it was a great success on on part of the prime minister narendra bhai modi absolutely and it was very well prepared the way bharat mandapam was built in a record time to host g20 uh, when you see the visuals you feel a sense of pride about the way india has arrived and among many things uh, we take few of them one was uh, the use of digitization or digital uh, aspect in uh, cash transaction etc and which was demonstrated by giving free um, digital 1000 rupees to everyone and they could buy in the delhi mart uh, and indeed having president of united states to prime minister of uk canada and several countries it was a big uh, uh, moment big show it was a big show and that uh, bharat uh, i mean bharat mandapam 3 uh, weeks ago i was there uh, because uh, i wanted to meet one senior minister uh, uh, for a courtesy meeting and uh, he was busy there uh, doing some press conference so he asked me to come there and uh, um, luckily i had a chance to see that uh, bharat mandapam beautifully built uh, state of the art uh, everything is there and uh, very impressive very yes. impressive and you also saw that nataraja statue which was right, shown right. again but the whole the whole structure was very impressive the whole structure is very impressive and uh, on the initiative of india south africa has also become a part of g20 and that is uh, also hailed as uh, very uh, diplomatic uh, far sightedness on behalf of indian leadership how do you see and the way uh, south african leader responded and uh, of course almost all the leaders have <laughs> prime minister modi but especially in the context of south africa so it it shows that uh, there is out of the box thinking on the part of india yes uh, because uh, south africa now the, that's africa continent is very important because there are about 50 uh, countries are there in that same uh, uh, that whole uh, continent and uh, and they are they have a lot of natural resources they have a lot of metals uranium and uh, uh, gold and uh, silver and so many things are there in that that continent which is not exploit um, a kind of developed and exploited uh, for the better use of the mankind and uh, now everyone has interest in uh, africa african countries particularly right now if you look at it uh, china is uh, there in full swing uh, they are really pouring big money into the uh, uh, african countries Uh, to build uh, all the infrastructures and all the uh, mining of the different uh, uh, metals and so forth same thing russia has a lot of interest in Af- uh, african country and and usa has a lot of interest and also india is also getting into that uh, african uh, market 
So that market is um, kind of, uh, it's another 1.4 billion people there also. Uh, and uh, the large, vast land there, a lot of uh, natural resources there. So whoever uh, work with the Africa uh, will make big difference in their economy. Uh, yeah. So that's why uh, I think it was a very wise decision to include Africa into this group. That way uh, all the 21 countries, uh, including Africa itself, will benefit economically and socially out of joining that, that, this kind of group. Absolutely. And this is emerging as a powerful uh, group, Group 21. Uh, under India's presidency, there were uh, over 60 meetings in different uh, states of India. So there was a people-to-people -people awareness about uh, right. the role played by G20. In this context, uh, there were apprehensions uh, because China uh, is abstaining, or rather Chinese, Chinese uh, head of the state as well as uh, Russian uh, president uh, was abstaining. So um, people were uh, uh, sort of doubtful about Delhi uh, managing to have a consensus and coming up with uh, declaration, uh, especially the reference of Ukraine and Russian war was also hovering like a potential reason uh, that could have harmed. But uh, thanks to Sherpa Amitabh Khan Sai, Foreign Minister, and of course the whole team which uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi mentioned. So, how do you see this proves India's mettle on the world uh, scale? Because India has capable of um, arranging, organizing such a meeting, such a large scale meeting, and uh, <clears throat> that this proves that India has arrived on the world stage. India is uh, one of the leader of the world. world and very significant leader of the world. And since uh, India's economy is moving upward and forward, and is almost like a fifth uh, uh, largest economy in the world, and that itself gives India a place in the world leadership. Uh, so I think uh, it was uh, very, uh, it's very uh, kind of satisfying and very, uh, uh, happy to see that India has arrived on the world stage and uh, India will be playing a big role in the future too. Absolutely. And among the notable Indian uh, origin uh, uh, leaders and senior uh, position holders like President of World Bank Ajay Bangaji or from IMF Gita Gopinaji or Rishi Swanak, uh, Prime Minister of uh, uh, UK, they were also present. and. It gives you a feel that uh, Indian uh, roots or wisdom of India is contributing to the world. And allow me to also uh, add the comment by World Bank President. Uh, he said within seven years what India has done uh, might uh, have taken 70 years. Uh, the pace at which uh, and especially connecting people with banking etc etc. Uh, so overall, the uh, comment made by uh, World Bank uh, President also included him saying that I am the biggest example of make in India because he said I never studied outside India. He has a pass out of IIM, etc. How that makes you feel as an Indian? Well, American? I mean, we, we feel very proud because our own person, our own uh, student, our own uh, Indian um, uh, Indian American person who is now leading the World Bank. And that is a really proud moment. And uh, it shows that uh, we have achieved and, uh, quite a bit, and we are no less than any other country in the world. Absolutely. Again, I'm reminded of a lot of visuals of many world leaders hugging Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but there was one uh, sort of uh, situation with uh, Prime Minister of Canada, uh, I think Canada is still continuing to support pro Khalistani forces. And while G20, parallel to this, uh, they were having a referendum for Khalistan, etc. And uh, while India's position was made clear uh, to uh, Prime Minister of Canada, he didn't uh, actually um, seems to have understood the, uh, the concern of India properly. I think I'm sure he understood the concern of the India, but it's a, it's a, again a prime prime minister of uh, uh, Canada is uh, is another politician, right? 
so he will sp uh, speak more uh, diplomatically in a such a way that he will he will make sure that this G20 meeting people are happy with his answer as well as back home his people will be happy. It didn't happen. Neither people here were happy <laughs> right. nor back if, home. So it can happen. So, but, but that was probably his uh, uh, intention. That's my guess is because uh, being a prime minister of Canada. What he's doing it is not right. We don't don't uh, don't support that uh, because Khalistani uh, Khalistani movement is very very deplorable and it's not good for India and uh, so uh, is like they are uh, so called uh, quote unquote terrorists and so we should claim them and I think uh, Narendra Bhai Modi Prime Minister Modi has requested I'm sure him in a uh, one to one meeting to help the India to uh, curb that uh, Khalistani organization. And uh, hopefully, uh, Prime Minister uh, Ms., uh, Trudeau's uh, administration should do that and uh, curb the Khalistani people. We are not saying that they should not uh, take care of uh, their citizens, uh, those who are uh, or, or, uh, Sikh origin, but at the same time, they should not support uh, uh, Khalistani movement or Khalistani organization. So now going to the other side where uh, the critical side for G20 summit from the opposition and some opposition leaders uh, raise concerns about them not getting the invitation, especially the Congress leader. How do you see that? Uh, was it uh, something significant uh, the way Congress put up one video through their tweets which was uh, showing Prime Minister Modi in a bad light, uh, mentioning things which are not worth repeating <laughs> here on this show. So the role of opposition overall, uh, and Priyanka Gandhi's statement saying that in K G20 mein pani bar gaya tha, as if it is happening in some other country. <laughs> so I think uh, this shows that uh, really uh, uh, is all, all political rhetoric. And uh, it is not uncalled for, and particularly when the, all the guests are uh, from the whole, all over the world is in, in India, one should refrain themselves from the, doing any negative comment. Because that time, we all should support uh, the government of the day and prime minister of the day. Absolutely. And partly uh, comments from Shashi Tharoor in some, some of his interviews were complimentary for the success of G20, but of course he was also critical. But as we conclude, let me bring you back to America and the most uh, important concern that New Yorkers are facing these days is the arrival of asylum seekers uh, as immigrants uh, in New York City and then they are um, being made to stay in some makeshift shelters in different uh, parts of New York, which is causing concern and there are a lot of protests also. I also quote the uh, mayor of New York mentioning that if this problem is not addressed, it is going to destroy New York. How do you see this in the light of uh, the uh, vision of President Biden? Well, I think um, uh, I personally, uh, I mean, of course, I personally um, welcome immigrants in general, but immigrants should become uh, on legal route, not illegal route. And once you let people come, on the on illegal route, that creates a chaos. That creates, a, uh, and I do not agree with the Democratic Party um, philosophy or Dr. Um, President Biden's philosophy to um, l let people come because they they are uh, they are uh, they wanted to come in. Everybody has to come through the legal way, and then and then. Uh, you, uh, you will have better immigration policy, just like Europe has. And uh, that, that's the only way you can, I mean, of course, immigrants are very important in the e economy of the, any country. And we need uh, immigrants, we need more people, we need more people to work in different level. So I think immigration is, uh, as such, is a welcome, but immigration with the with the uh, legal Asylum. routing, uh, yeah. even, has to even, be there. even if it is legally applicable, there has to be a policy to contain how are they going to... Yeah, but once it becomes legal them. routing, then yeah, yeah. Uh, the amount of uh, or exodus of the immigrant won't happen. 
Absolutely. So there are so many questions, so many concerns, yet uh, there is uh, hope and uh, indeed positive outlook uh, we move forward. And as we conclude today's session, your parting remarks for our viewers. Dear friends, uh, we just uh, completed our, our uh, Prime Minister, uh, uh, Honorable uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, in his, uh, under his leadership completed a very successful G20 meeting uh, as a president of the G20 organization. And uh, who's who's of the world came there and uh, they saw the uh, uh, development of the India, uh, success of the India, and uh, we are very happy that it, everything went so well. So we all should be proud of our uh, government of the day. We are proud of our Prime Minister, Honorable Narendra Bhai Modi, for successful vision, successful uh, leadership, and uh, uh, to lead the whole world on the better path. So after saying that, I would like to say, God bless America, God bless India, God bless Indian American, and I love you all, my viewers. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.